What is up, stoners? This is Douglas LFC, the Lonely Stoner. Now that most of the art has been officially revealed, I wanted to take a trip down the high space lane and see which 10 cards from the great dark beyond take me to that beyond. These are the top 10 cards to smoke with. Let's get started. Coming in at number 10, you've got the Space Pirate. You know this dude is up to no good, but he has scoured the vast space of the great dark beyond. Surely he has stumbled upon the mightiest of grasses, so it's best we stick with him for now. Hey, at least it's free though. Next up at number 9, we have the Langari Scout. This guy right here, this guy right here, he is the reason why your favorite green pastime is called by its name. Although Langari Scout always gets credit for other people's discoveries, at least we can get first dibs on the freshest strain. Coming in at number 8, we arrive at the Captain's Log. After Akama has had a long day slamming face against his opponents, he likes to unwind at the Captain's Log. Here, he shares as many tales of slaughter and his ship history. While you feel endangered all the time around Akama, he at least has the most exclusive Drainic Purple Flower. Coming in at number 7 is the Astrobiologist. After almost having a bad trip with the comma, we arrive with the Astrobiologist. They are spending 6 months aboard discovering the finest doobies to grow at home. Luckily for you, you are a traveling test subject for all cultivated grass. Damn, this is a good gig. Next up, at number 6, we have the Exhart Hazaru. The Draenei had no hopes of survival, severely matched by the Burning Legion Kush. That changed with the invention of the Arcanite Crystal Stream, giving Hataru and its blunt rotation homies new ways to enlighten their minds. Now, I don't think I ever want to leave this place. This place rocks. Coming in at number 5 is the Gravitational Dispensary. Look at the size of that nug. Are you kidding me? At TDG, their job is to scour the space for the finest dank. Do you ever wonder why Azeroth has the best grass in the vast? Hitting the prestigious top 4 is Kara the Dark Star. Even if someone like Velen has made time to check out a shooting star in real life after millennia of smoking on that good good, you think we're gonna pass up the opportunity to smoke that perf that Kara drops during the pressings? No way man, no way. This fella right here has earned his spot in the top 3 purely for their vibes is the Brain Gill. Brain Gill is like the homie that pays for your food when you have no gold in the tavern to spend on. He spends his free time cultivating his finest dank so no need to put 5 on it. He's got you. Man, I finally had 5 on it. Coming in at number 2 is the 8 hands from beyond. It was a one-eyed, eight-handed, joint rolling, giant purple ganja smoke enjoyer. If this is our last puff on Earth, then it might as well be the dang best that we will ever have. See you next time, Azeroth. And earning their number one spot is the Dwarf Planet. Do I even need to explain this thing? Look at my man, he's hotboxing the planet giving everyone a good ass time. This dude lands on my number one spot solely on the selflessness of the planet. What a good plan. If the dwarf planet is going to get zooted out of their atmosphere, then so can everyone inside. Those were the top 10 cars to smoke with in the great dark beyond. Man, I think I'm going to take a tolerance break after light years of sessions. Is everyone in space suited all the time? Ugh, I need a break. What cars do you want to have? A session with this expansion let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see other locations in hearthstone like kush of naxramus or session in the Danklands, hit me up thanks for watching y'all stay elevated